manage our, uh, our passport offices and our airports and our port system. Keep listening to the people and focusing on their priorities. Right now that's obviously uh, growing the economy and diversifying it while addressing persistent issues in healthcare. So We just need to focus on Albertans and making life better for them and they're going to choose us over top of the NDP because uh, the NDP, that, that's just higher taxes. Adam Suss here for Rebel News. We are on location at the McDougal Centre here in Calgary, Alberta, where one of the biggest stampede breakfasts of the season is set to kick off the Premier's Breakfast. This is a uh, location where just about as much political grilling as pancake grilling goes on. And we're hoping to have the opportunity to speak to some of the politicians as we do at all these stampede events, ask them some important questions about their plans for this province and their plans to advocate for this province moving forward. I'm also going to be speaking with people in attendance and those uh, hopefully seeking re-election in four years time to ask what they think the most important thing the UCP has to do is to win again and indeed potentially reclaim some of those seats they lost in the last election. What do you think the sort of critical actions and policies the UCP need to address uh, will be in order to uh, win the next election in addition to potentially clawing back some of those Calgary seats that were lost? I don't think there's a particular policy per se. I mean, everything we do matters, of course. Uh, in the broad terms, what I've always thought and said often is that we just need to provide boring, competent government. And if we do that, I think that's what Albertans want. They just want their government to do what's in their best interest. Honestly, it's as simple as showing stability and good governance. Right? I mean, if we can show the people of Alberta, people of Calgary, people of Edmonton, that uh, this is a stable government, uh, that we're showing good governance. Um, you know, I mean, I had conversations with colleagues from previous governments that, uh, quite frankly, had a lot of longevity. Mm -hmm. And really, the key was just good governance, right? So doing the right thing for the right reasons, uh, because it is the right thing to do, as cliche as that sounds. If we can show that and continue to do that, uh, we'll be in a good position going to the next election. It's good to be on the other side of the election. Uh, we obviously fought a, a hard campaign and you know what, we did win a majority government, which is exciting. I do think that, you know, we have some ground to gain in Calgary, but you know what, I think we also came through such a negative and divisive campaign from the NDP. And so, you know, even this week, it is Stampede Week. We've been out at events and people saying, you know what, it, it was just so negative. All of the misinformation being shared by the NDP and, and quite frankly, sometimes in the media, um, that was hard to overcome, but look, things are going very well in Alberta right now. Well, there's certainly bridges to be built, and uh, I think during the last election we put forward a really strong uh, platform and a lot of good policies, so following through with that, implementing them, uh, make sure we're, we're seeing the results is important for all Albertans and especially Calgarians where the battleground tends to be in the election, right? Well, you know, rural Alberta, we did we did really well there and uh, I picked up a ton of votes in my area. And I think once Calgary and some of the areas where we lost the people see all the great things that are happening in Alberta, they're going to come back. Like Alberta is poised, like Alberta is back. There's so much good. You can see the excitement here. The, the business people are excited, all the great things that are happening. We've got uh, hydrogen coming. We've got uh, liquid natural gas. We've got carbon and capture projects. Keep listening to the people and focusing on their priorities. Right now that's obviously uh, growing the economy and diversifying it while addressing persistent issues in healthcare. So uh, listening to our people and ensuring that we get the, the good work of government done. It's simple. Focus on Albertans, not on ourselves. Uh, stop fighting amongst the conservative movement and instead uh, focus on what unites us uh, in delivering good, quality, competent government for Albertans. If we do that, they're going to choose the conservatives over the NDP every time. The people of Alberta have given us a, a pretty strong mandate. We're, we're super, super grateful. and. We we look forward to, to go, going to do good work for them and uh, hopefully if they see, uh, see us put the work in and start taking care of regular Albertans, uh, then they'll uh, give us a stronger mandate next time around. I think we just got to work hard and be honest with people and uh, make sure everybody's on the same page. You know, the province is in good shape right now, we're on the right track and we just got to, you know, hunker down and keep going. Well, I think we need to really evaluate what went right and what went wrong during the elections. Um, we, we need to sit back and uh, talk about within caucus. Uh, we need to reach out to people as well and that's exactly what we're doing uh, in, in events like these. We're really coming out and talking to people, finding out what their concerns are, finding out what they're uh, looking to see from this government and we're going to certainly implement the people's will. Well, I will say this, that Albertans are very compassionate, smart, capable, entrepreneurial people and I think earning trust and uh, 
listening to the concerns of Albertans is key for, for any political party and certainly for the United Conservative Party. We just have to keep doing that. We have to keep remaining humble, working hard and connecting with Albertans across the province. It's as simple as that. I think we just got to prove that good Conservative policies work for Albertans. And once Albertans see that it makes a difference in their lives, then I think we'll have no problem with the next election. It's just about doing things that are right and making sure we're empathetic to Albertans and make sure we do the job that we're elected to do. While other provinces continue to assert their autonomy, uh, whether it be Justin Trudeau or uh, the, the mainstream media, there are consistent attacks against sort of very reasonable demands for Alberta sovereignty. It doesn't seem to end. Uh, when do you envision this coming to a head? Does it require a new federal government? Uh, what, what's sort of the end goal here? What do you suspect is going to happen? I'm so delighted to be going to the Council of the Federation this week because I can tell you the thing that has surprised me the most is it doesn't matter what political stripe the premiers have, every single one of them is frustrated with federal interference into their business. I would like to, for the federal government to focus on their areas of jurisdiction and do it well. How about we uh, see them address the issue of, of out of control monetary policy so that we don't have an inflation crisis any longer? How about they uh, meet their commitments internationally on defense spending so that we can continue to be part uh, of a, a, a full partner in the NATO alliance? How about they manage our, uh, our passport offices and our airports and our port system? And how about they support indigenous health so that uh, we're dealing with the opioid crisis? They've got lots on their plate in their areas of jurisdiction. They should stop trying to interfere in ours and they should start doing their job, is my view. And I think all the other premiers feel the same. So I've pushed back. I've seen Saskatchewan push back and I, I think you'll see increasingly the other provinces will push back as well. I mean, our economy is still booming. More and more people are choosing to call Alberta home. We are addressing some of the biggest issues that we have seen in healthcare, reducing EMS wait times, surgical wait times. And honestly, I think that's at the heart of it is once people start to see, you know what, um, Alberta is better uh, than it was, you know, four years ago. Uh, and I think that they're going to start to see that momentum continue, or continue to see that momentum, I should say. Uh, and I think that that's honestly what it's going to take. Is there sort of a key policy that comes to mind that is really going to be sort of a deciding factor? Look, I think it's it's pretty clear. Affordability, the inflation crisis, housing, uh, different things like that, that you know, probably none of us would have anticipated four years ago right. have become probably the biggest issue in, in the province and federally. Uh, but again, no matter what the issue is, we just need to focus on Albertans and making life better for them. And they're going to choose us over top of the NDP because uh, the NDP, that, that's just higher taxes and, and the end of the day, less of a quality of life. Well, I think we got to um, fix a number of things in the healthcare system, right? We've made great strides when it comes to EMS reform. That's a really great start, but there's a lot of work to do. And I'm really hopeful with our new health minister and her team. I think affordability and healthcare are probably always the top two things. And I think that's that's what's going to make a difference. Uh, I think we got some good policies where we're, you know, when the economy's growing, everything's looking good on that front. We have some work to do in healthcare, but we've made a lot of progress so far and more progress to come. You know, we, we, we know that we're not there yet, but uh, no, no problem, we're, we got, we're up to the challenge. It was great to speak to so many politicians, garner their perspectives on what they believe the UCP has to do in order to win the next election and claw back some of those hard fought battlegrounds that they lost here, particularly in Calgary. The sentiments focusing on policy issues from jobs to economy to healthcare and the sentiment that these MLAs need to work work hard for Albertans were at the forefront of the minds of these MLAs. Mainstream media who will reach into your pocket and take funds from you to support their projects, whether you like it or not. We ask you to kindly consider freely supporting the work we do if you enjoy it. One way you can do that is by going to rebelfieldreports.com and chipping in a few bucks to help us get some gas in our tank.